Hey guys, what's going on? This is Bad Fish, and welcome to Gone Gaming. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the beautiful, verdant, and vibrant city of San Pedro. That is my realistic, ongoing City Skylines series based off of the American West Coast. So we are in San Pedro today, guys, and we're, well, some bad news. We're going to jail. We're going to prison. And all we have to get us through it is my handful of hours in prison architect. So hopefully it goes all right. We'll see. You guys can be the judge of that. But yeah, we are going to be building a penitentiary here, guys. Um, I just thought it would be an interesting build to do. I think definitely where we're doing a, you know, American West Coast with like some California and like Southwest vibes. Um, a prison is definitely something that is going to be a fixture in that landscape. You know, there's a lot of land out there and a lot of room for these, you know, big sprawling complexes like this. So I wanted to try my hand at it, see what I could come up with. And I think it ends up looking pretty unique and interesting. Um, I looked a lot at the different like state prisons within the uh, California state penitentiary system and things like that, uh, just to kind of get a sense of some of their layouts. But I also wanted to make it my own. So whenever I make something that needs to be secure or is like a prison or something like that, I'm all about, you know, as much symmetry as possible. So if you see with those wards I just laid out, kept them uh, pretty symmetrical, trying to keep the fence, you know, on a grid and things like that. So right now we are fencing everything in. We are going to add kind of a double fence to it as well um, and just kind of spread that out. There had to be a little bit of wonkiness mixed in, but it looks pretty good. Um, here now we're just kind of starting to flesh out the actual yards of the um, prison and the uh, you know wards themselves and just kind of flesh out where things are going to be in that sense and paint it in with some concrete and stuff like that and uh, going around that double fence as well and I wanted to add paths originally I wanted this to be a path or like a dirt road but they wouldn't fit in there for some reason so I just had to go with surface painter and now we're just gonna go through and add a whole bunch of watchtowers so I have these little guard towers I got off the workshop that I'm putting uh, kind of on the main stretches and then on the corners um, from the interactive prison pack which I am using the interactive prison pack off of the workshop if you're looking for some of these assets but off of that I'm using those bigger guard towers on on the corners of the different parts of the fence just to make sure that you have full coverage and then just making sure there's no trees or anything because you want to keep it cut down and um, you know that way they have good sight lines if anybody tries to escape and now um, I wanted to start building out the kind of like foreground of the prison so we already have where the actual like prison is and where the prisoners are gonna be staying so I wanted to put in a little bit of a factory so I have the modular factory pack off the workshop that I've used a few times I really like it it lets you you know create some unique factories using clipping and stuff like that um, but anyway going back to my thought process here so in the American uh, penitentiary system for better or worse there is a lot of prison labor um, there is a lot of factories and things like that that um, inmates can work in during their time in incarceration so I wanted to add that in um, just kind of put some different factories down do I really know what's coming in or out of them no if I want to be cliche I could say license plates but you know it could really be anything so I wanted to just add in these factories. I think it adds a little bit more intrigue to the space as well, you know, than just having prison buildings down and, you know, obviously gives the inmates something to do. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just paint that in and I'll come back and detail this um, a little bit more vigorously in just a little bit. And then on the other side of this, I wanted to start building out more of an administration area. Um, so I wanted the administration area to be kind of separated away from where the inmates are going to be. Um, so we do have an extra fence, an extra gatehouse going through entering into this area. Um, but I'm just putting down some big buildings to kind of have like maybe, um, well, offices, obviously. Um, I was thinking a prison hospital, that bigger building that you kind of see that has the two bigger blocks. I was thinking that would be the hospital. And then uh, here in San Pedro, we are all about, um, you know, re-education, re-entry into society. So maybe we have some educational facilities there for inmates and things like that. And now I'm just adding some power and water pumping over here. I really wanted this station to be, or this uh, prison to be self-sufficient um, you know whether or not these are in use all the time or if it's just if there's like a power outage or anything on the main city uh, you know grid I just wanted to make sure that it had its own ability to be self-sufficient especially since it is so far away from the rest of San Pedro 
and now uh, what we're gonna start doing is building out this parking lot across from this little police station I put down so the idea behind this parking lot is this is going to be kind of the storage of different cruisers and vehicles for the law enforcement of San Pedro uh, that was kind of important to me. I wanted to add in just like a bunch of different cruisers and stuff. So I start building out this uh, this parking lot and then <laughs> I realized that all of the police cruisers that I had picked up as assets to add in here were just vehicles, not props, which was a big oops. So I had to go back, exit out, get some different props and stuff, but you'll see them in just a minute. We get some cool vehicles to add in here. Um, and now what I'm doing is adding a little maintenance bay garage kind of deal to the backside of the parking lot. I thought that'd be kind of a cool, unique little thing to do is like, you know, this is also where they service the different cruisers and keep them running until those Crown Vic's wheels fall off because apparently that's what we do in America. We just keep Ford Crown Victorias running way past their expiration date. So just, you know, fleshing out the mechanic area a little bit, adding some workers and things like that and some trash and tires, etc and uh you know adding in the water so they stop yelling at me because i hate those stupid blips i hate them so much so anyway here is the new cars that i picked up so these are some fun ones got some different types of cruisers got like pickup trucks suvs sedans you know running running the whole gambit there were like a couple lamborghini ones but i was like that's too much this isn't dubai we're not gonna have you know lamborghini police cruisers that <laughs> san pedro is not that wealthy yet if you see on the bottom we're losing like 70 grand a day so we ain't doing hot our deficit is as bad as the united states federal government but i digress so now we are going in just adding some more like superfluous details and we are going to add in now a warehouse so i wanted to put in a warehouse this is something i was trying to think of more things to add and i actually watched a video from two dollars twenty in marble mountain when he made his little prison facility he had a cool little warehouse kind of shipping and receiving area and it made a lot of sense especially for a bigger prison like that to have kind of a cargo area because you're going to have a lot of resources coming in whether that's like toiletries food clothing you know all the necessities to keep you know your prisoners alive and healthy um as well as you know you have the output of those factories that we built out so who knows what could be coming out of there it could be just about anything you know like i said it could be license plates it could be i don't know wrenches yeah it's a wrench factory why not they're making wrenches over there hollywood they don't have people in prisons making wrenches so let's go against the grain so now just add in some more staging and pickup areas this is like a smaller pickup area for vans to come get little things or drop off little things and then of course we have our big trailers over here and i am going to add some truck parking in as well so those big old 18 wheelers have a place to you know, stretch their bones and uh, chill out for a little bit while they're waiting to get things loaded up. And then of course, just some lighting over here so people can see what it is that they are doing. Because you definitely don't wanna be trying to pick up a cargo container in the pitch black. That's just, uh, that's, that's just good business. And uh, now what we're gonna do is I am replacing these different basketball courts. I'm doing that because the vanilla ones are way too vibrant, way too noisy. I do not like them. Uh, so I kind of look at it. You might notice a little bit of clipping with the hoops, but other than that, it goes right over it and it makes me happy so I don't have to look at the very bright ones. And I thought, you know, especially where this is a prison area, you want it a little bit uh, more dingy. So now um, I'm fitting in this area. So that little area that has the very small yard, in my head that is our maximum security side of the prison while the other two wards are male, female. Um, so the other two wards have bigger yards. I'm gonna put like pay phones and stuff. So if they get like phone cards or can earn time to talk on the phone, they can do that. But then in the maximum security part, all it is is tables. There's no other props in there. So we're back in the little factory area now, just adding like a little seating area for workers or inmates who are over there since presumably the ones that get to come out of the actual prison yard itself and get to come into this area are good behavior. So they let them, you know, maybe walk around a little bit or go sit on benches. So I just wanted to add a little seating area. I didn't add a ton of like, you know, I don't add flowers or anything to it like I do in San Pedro proper just cause I didn't think that would feel appropriate for this space. Um, so I just kept it grass. And then just adding, you know, typical little industrial details, trash cans, loading areas, things like that. And now one of my favorite parts of this build and something that I truly, truly hope shows up in City Skylines too is uh, road work because road work is a staple of, I think just about anywhere um, that has infrastructure. So 
I went ahead and put in this road. I'm gonna block it from all traffic and just throw in some construction areas. I think it'd be really cool. I remember like seeing, um, I forget it was like Sim City or something. It was an ad way back when where they kind of showcased that there would be like procedural road work. So different roads would get shut down. I thought that was kind of neat. It'd be, I mean, it'd be such a pain in the ass with the simulation, but it'd be so much fun. So I close down this road, mess it up, add some destruction, make it look like it's been ripped up. Um, at you know a little construction area for people to hang out in but I just think it's a fun cool detail uh, has nothing to do with the prison itself just you know something that happens everywhere you know roads get messed up everywhere especially where I live I'm up in New England and the roads here um, you know battle between potholes and frost heaves back and forth all year so now we are going to go start our little bit of landscaping here so I am going to just only do underbrush for the most part I added a few trees and like a middle fenced off area but everything else is just underbrush so I'm going to go ahead and start adding that I am going to uh, skip ahead a little bit just because there was so much um, and the reason I'm only doing underbrush is because you know where it's a prison you're not going to want trees because again you're going to want those sight lines for anybody up on the guard towers to be able to see if anybody's trying to escape etc. So just underbrush in, you know, this vicinity um, and just trying to keep it, you know, relegated to mainly places that people aren't walking or there's just nothing there. Um, and if you look on the sides, it looks like there's way too much right now. That's because there is. I am going to go ahead and delete and kind of give it a haircut after I build out this little area. But I am just building our little entrance into the prison itself now and just uh, adding like some different planters and stuff, making it look a little bit nicer um you know so if any you know dignitaries or politicians are visiting it kind of has a nice little entrance before you break into the real meat and potatoes of the prison itself and to finish up today's build we are just going to do our usual decaling so just going through adding cracks to different areas trying to put it where you know weighty things are coming through so cars or trucks or um around buildings um and definitely like over by where I did the water treatment, I do it around those, yeah, right here, around those little pools and stuff. Um, but that's just about it for the cracks. And we're gonna finish off with some lighting here. So I'm just gonna go through, add parking lights and things like that. Um, but that is just gonna about do it for the time lapse portion of today's build, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. We're gonna jump into a live play in just a second to go through things in a little more detail and a little bit more slowly. But I am going to let the music play out for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey guys, welcome to prison. So this is today's build here all set up for you. So that is the end of the time lapse and we are now in the land of the live play, AKA less head snappy and uh, way less movement. So I hope you guys enjoyed your uh, you know daily dose of motion sickness with the beginning there. So let's check out what we built here in a little bit slower pace and show you guys some of the cool stuff. So coming in. We have our nice little entrance. I'm again using that border patrol asset that I used with the nuclear power plant I made a few episodes ago. Got some guard towers on either side of it. Um, I just think it works nice for like a you know a checkpoint area and having you know the fences go right through it and you know it does make people stop a little bit too, which is nice. And then we have our nice little entrance leading up to this big administration building. That's probably a little bit too nice for what it is, but you know I like it. I think it looks good. So this is where uh, you know intake is and all that good stuff. And then as we come back here, these are the actual wards of the prison. So we got three separate wards here: um, men's ward, women's ward, and then maximum security. So the maximum security ward uh, I made. It a little bit smaller I did a lot less as far as amenities with the yard um, you know what few amenities there are and then on the other sides obviously on the regular wards we do have like basketball courts a little bit more seating area and like pay phones and things like that so these are the yards and the actual uh, housing for the inmates going down here um, quick stop off over here we have our power and water supply so this is kind of in the middle of nowhere there's not a lot going on over here so I did want to make sure that it was self-sufficient even if it's just in case of like the grid going down I wanted to make sure that the prison could run itself so we got some solar panels and some water processing and things like that 
And then to the right here, we do have our little industry area. Um, so American prisons, a lot of them will have factories attached to them. So, um, you know, that could be factories for just workers coming through or, you know, inmates to do work while they're incarcerated, things like that. So I just wanted to put in this little factory area, added some different details for like loading and things like that. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good, I'd say, as we just got some inmates just clipping through and walking through them. Okay. And then over here, uh, this is our little more administration slash police area. So what we got going on over here, um, first of all, I'll start over here. We do have a little mechanics bay and uh, maintenance area for the police cruisers. And then of course, just kind of a storage slash parking. So, you know, my idea is maybe this is like the central hub for the uh, law enforcement of San Pedro, where they leave a lot of their different cruisers or they have people coming in, grabbing their cruisers and then heading out. So that's kind of the idea behind here. Um, and then just like civilian cars in the end for the administration area. And then this big building, my idea with this is this is kind of your, your main administration area of the entire prison. So this bigger area right here, this could be like your prison hospital. Um, you know, I also think they'd probably have like some educational services and things like that in here as well to aid in rehabilitation. Uh, Cause that's what we're about here in San Pedro. It's about rehabilitation, not punishment. And then, uh, ooh, nice. I love when these guys land, so good sweet and then over here we have um just a little loading slash staging area with a warehouse for uh goods coming in and out of the prison since we do have those big factories i wanted to have a place for them to load out their goods as well as where it is such a large prison i wanted to make sure that we uh, had a place for them to take in goods such as food you know different toiletries and things like that and just necessities etc so that's what's going on right here and then just a little, little helicopter area um, but that is the build and then of course also real quick we do just got the double fence going all the way around but that is the build guys so i hope you liked it i think it came out really nice uh obviously for you know it, it's a prison so really nice and it's more of a sense of perspective of i just think the layout looks good i think the build is well detailed but let me know what you guys think down below definitely want to hear opinions on it and what you guys might have done differently or just what you think overall about the build and if you're interested in more modded city skylines or realistic builds or if you just like the sound of my voice definitely check out my channel i typically post three to four times a week and it's usually modded city skylines detailed builds you know cool things like that so definitely go check it out i'll give you a quick quick view of the map just so you can see you know all of these things have been documented documented in one way or another on my channel so definitely check them out there's some cool builds off in there um, and definitely subscribe but that is going to do it for the build guys so again hope you enjoyed it hope you have a great rest of your day and a good start to your weekend and i'll see you in the next one